going on, everybody? It's about that time. Time to try Arby's new crinkle cut french fries. Now, at least as long as I've been alive, I've only known Arby's to have curly fries. Like when you want curly fries, that's where you go. You go to Arby's, get some curly fries. Now they've got new ones, and uh, I'm interested to see what they've done with them. Let's find out. So, looks like Arby's is switching it up a little bit. From what I've seen, they've done some interesting things in the past, but uh, never anything as drastic as this. They've got new fries, and I don't necessarily know if they've gotten rid of their old curly fries. I really hope they haven't, because uh, I feel like there are a lot of people that go there just for the curly fries and like Jamocha shakes. Those are like Arby's two signature things. And of course, the roast beef sandwiches. But Arby's has some new crinkle fries and we're gonna go ahead and try them out. However, before I get into that, I'd really appreciate it if you go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps promote the video and helps out the channel. I really appreciate it. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and take out these crinkle fries. I have a feeling they're not gonna be like much different than any other type of crinkle fry, but let's go ahead and see. You know who has really good crinkle fries? Culver's. I haven't been to Culver's in a while, but here they are. Arby's new crinkle fries. So, right off the bat, they smell really good. They smell like, you know, how french fries usually smell when they're fresh out the fryer. They're really hot just by grabbing it. Hold on to it for a few seconds. I can feel the heat transferring in my fingers. And they're salted really well. Like, I can only drop one on my pants and there's like a lot of salt on my pants. So I know that they're salted pretty well. So let's go ahead, take one of these out. Here we go, this looks like a good one. Take a little bite, see how it is. They're crunchy. They're very crisp. I was hoping they weren't going to be like those soggy crinkly fries because crinkle fries are never good when they're soggy. Well, fries in general aren't good when they're soggy, but especially the crinkle ones. But these, this one's broken in half. These, ooh, double. But these are nice and crispy. And hopefully, I'm sure you guys can hear that crunch when I bite into it too. One more time. Last one. Mm. Price of the fries, this is a small fry. For a small, like they actually give you a pretty good amount of fries. Just to make sure, like it says there on the side, an S. So it is a small, but yeah, for a small, I think it was about like $2.30, somewhere around there. So even though it's a small, like they give you a decent amount of fries. Like it doesn't feel like a small, it feels like a medium. So Arby's, I think you made some pretty good fries here. They taste good, they taste fresh, they're crisp, they're hot, and they're delicious. I just really hope they haven't gotten rid of the curly fries. These crinkle fries should not replace the curly fries. They should just be something to, you know, add on to the spectrum of food that you offer. But I guess we'll see what they do. So yeah, overall, crinkle fries, I approve. Just as long as it doesn't, you know, replace the curly fries. Anyways, thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, I would appreciate it if you go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Because again, helps to promote the video and helps to get the video out there for the rest of YouTube to see. Also, if you like this content, you want to see more, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all the support that you guys continue to give me. Lastly, if you've tried these fries, or if you plan on trying these fries, feel free to comment down below. Let me know what you think of them. Are they a good addition to the Arby's menu? Or do you think they should just stick to curly fries? Again, thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.